Yuki has staccato. Wake up! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> you know what would be neat? If people had flying cars. It would also be neat if I had a clue what you were talking about. I'm just saying, where's my flying car? I thought we had them by now. They're called planes. No, I mean a car you could park in your garage. And when I was a kid, I was going to invent a flying car. So why didn't you? Well, I got sidetracked. Jackie. Jackie Estacado. Is that you? Holy mother of pearl, Jackie. Everyone thought you was dead. We heard you flamed out the same time as that cocksucker Eddie Schroeder. That's one hell of a stunt you pulled. Where you been hiding? I spent a couple of weeks in a dark place. You wouldn't understand. Mystery man, huh? Well, you sure made some waves, son. The Chicago boys are considering pulling the plug on your dear old Uncle Paulie. He's on his knees, ready to suck whatever dick he can so they won't freeze his assets. He's holed up. Not even Butcher knows where. Schroed's people mention Mother of God. Now, I think it had something to do with the administration in Chicago. You know anything about that? Ah, uh, strange. He and Pauly got religious? Run the name with Butcher. <laughs> He's gonna shit in his britches. When you show up, you're supposed to be dead. So go see Butcher. He should be over Aunt Sarah's. He's, uh, helping around with some stuff or some shit. I, I don't know. What's the matter, dear? Can I help you? Mrs. Hazelgrove? I'm not sure we've ever met ever, dear. Mind you, I am getting a little forgetful. <laughs> yes, I'm Rosie Hazelgrove. Mrs. Hazelgrove, I know this is gonna sound real strange, but there's something I need to tell you. What is it, dear? Spit it out. I have a message. It's from your husband, Charlie. He wanted me to tell you that he always thought of you. He still does. I mean, Mrs. Hazelgrove, he told me to tell you. You always the light in the darkness. Oof. He wanted me to give you this. Where did you get this? Wow. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. You're an angel of heaven. and give it to Mickey Famiano. We'll come into Canal Street on the A train. Jesus, Petey. Why not give me something a little bit challenging? How do I recognize this guy? Hey, he's a cocky son of a bitch. Wears a hat. A red hat. Day and night. You won't miss him. There's something coming. Maybe it's that eclipse they were talking about on the news. Yeah, just feels weird. Whatever it is, it's big. I feel like a penguin trying to stop a runaway polar bear. Estacado, right? 
What do you want, son? I got a message from Little Petey here in this envelope. Here you go. Ah, message from Little Petey, huh? All right, kid, here's a little something for you. Hey, Jackie. How are ya? Got this chick, a tenant of mine, real pain in the ass. Three months late with her rent, she's only been in the apartment for half a year. Why don't you throw her the fuck out? She says she's a friend of yours. Now, you know, I've been tight with your family for years, kid, but I gotta pay the bills like everyone else. All right, don't sweat it. I'll have a talk with her. I appreciate you helping me out, Jackie. Chinatown. You're not here anymore. I'm trying to remember you. But all I get is this stupid shit. Like your wallpaper. Smelling your hallway. Even my mind is fighting me. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh you scared me there, Jackie. Oh. Oh, oh, you're here because you talked to Mr. Blackmore, right? Oh, okay, here's the deal, Jackie. I need this fucking place, but now asshole fucking needle dick Blackmore raised around, right? Fucking fat ass. Trying to fucking sweat me out. Okay, Jackie, listen. Could you help me with one last thing? You know, just convince asshole Blackmore I, I could stay. Please, Jackie! No. I can't ask him. Now I need those keys back. Yeah, yeah, Jack, you okay? Yeah, I pack my stuff up right now. Take the key back to Mr. Blackmore and uh, I just, I'll be out in no time. I said I would fucking leave already! Hey, you got my key. Oh, what about the chick? I asked her to move along, you know? I was real polite about it. Thanks, kid. She was a pain in the ass. Yo, Jackie! I got something for you. You ever hear of a guy by the name of Frankie Thierry? He sets up most of the trade between Paulie and his Chicago families. They call him Noses. Yeah, yeah. I heard of him. He's a scumbag. Yeah, well... Word on the street is he's about to run a couple of kilos of Polly's junk through town to his drop point. What say we, uh, we help get it off the street, huh? Well, what's the plan, Stan? Noses comes through Fulton Station all the time. I'm gonna give you a briefcase, right? Noses carries one just like it. Find the right moment to pull a switch, then bring it back to me, I'll flush that shit down the drain. Go to Fulton. And pull the switch with the airy suitcase. Then come back here. This is Trinity Cemetery. Been here too many times in my life. I hate this fucking place. Goddamn cops kicked me out. I had to leave all my stuff in there. I need my insulin, or I'm gonna be face down on the sidewalk within a day. You, you, you gotta help me, kid. Don't worry about it. I'll get you insulin. Thanks, kid. I needed that. Like to keep my legs. You're all right, kid. Got something for you. You know, definitely. There is something going on with the weather. It is weird for this time of year.
the hell are you looking at? Step off, you little clown. Back off, asshole. What the hell are you looking at? Step off, you little clown. Thanks. Hi. Watch this right here. I'm watching. I'm watching. Nice moves. Pretty tight. <laughs> all right, all right. Get ready for this. Woo! Yeah! Hey, you ask me, we should get all this shit off the streets. But this is a good start, <laughs> and Paulie is gonna go ape shit. Thanks. Hey, see you around, Jackie. The Mother of God thing was way too obvious. I figured it had to be something else. Now, I knew that Aunt Sarah and the Butcher were ready to see Schrott and Paulie's asses on a platter. I've already got an opening. Maybe they can help turn it into a gaping hole. Jackie! Oh, you're still alive! Oh, thank the Lord! <sighs> Holy catfish! Jackie? Jackie, is that you? This problem with your Uncle Paulie has gone on long enough, Jackie. It's time to take action. I think the decision has just about made itself anyway, what with the way he's been carrying on. Now, some old friends of the family want to know what they can do to help. Eddie Schroeder's guy said something about the Mother of God. It was supposed to be an inside joke, but it meant something. Now, I think there's some kind of connection to the Chicago family's something Paulie wants to keep to himself. Mother of God? Like the Virgin Mary? You don't suppose he's talking about the Santa Maria? Mm -hmm. That's a Chicago family boat. It's been running shipments of drugs into the harbor for years. Knowing Eddie, he wouldn't resist the chance to talk about it to a dying man. <laughs> he always did have diarrhea in the mouth. Especially if there's something big going on. Chicago family's gonna be real interested in what happens here, Jackie. This is gonna be your best chance to get Paulie out of the picture for good. Just say the word, and I'll help if I can. I want to know more about this Santa Maria, Butch. Anything there I can use against Paulie? Listen, Jackie, I would never normally say this. <clears throat> you know me. I never choose sides. But you already put a hole in Paulie's finances when you took out Dutch Oven Harry's operation. You put a few holes in that boat, Santa Maria. <laughs> the Chicago family's gonna pull a plug and Paulie will find himself swimming to the bottom of the river. I need to know how to mess up Paulie's deal. They got people inside the Coast Guard. They usually wait for the coast to clear, and they call the Santa Maria in from the harbor to make a shipment. <clears throat> There's a radio they use down at Grinders Lane, tuned to the correct frequency at all times. <clears throat> You get to that radio and call in, and they'll send the boat. <laughs> I had my first kiss down here. I was 15. Some hooker named Candy. She crossed her legs and broke my sunglasses. Good times. During the war, they used to have this saying, loose lips sink ships. Now I know what they mean. And soon, the Chicago families will know too. All I need is that radio to call in their boat.
Maria, what's the story? Over. You can bring in the boat. Everything's clear. Over. Affirmative. We are coming. Job's not worth doing unless you do it right. Paul is a dead man unless he grows a beard and learns how to speak Swahili. Or he won't get a chance. Not for as long as I draw breath. I'm here because Paulie Franchetti tells me where I gotta be. So when he tells me to watch out for him, I don't know if he's or whatever, that's what I do. Now you fucking dipshit.
it! Now that Paulie's found out that the old crew's on my side, it's like some snake bit him on the heel. Next thing I know, I got Jimmy the Grape and everybody all holed up at Aunt Sarah's place, while Paulie's boys crawl out all over them like stink on shit. I guess maybe this is what I wanted all along. The opportunity to impress. You know, I never thought... <laughs>
that you protected your Aunt Sarah. They'll owe you a great debt. But Paulie, on the other hand, oh. Okay, I've got a lead for you. I think I know where Paulie Franchetti's been keeping himself. Mm. Paulie paid for an old White House to be renovated last year. He's out there, hoping the hell you don't find him. You can only get there by boat. You got balls, kid. You really got balls. And you got brains. Listen, me and some of the old guys, we've been talking the other day, and we were saying that someone like you, with brains, balls, and respect, and someone who honors the old ways, you know what the old ways mean, don't you? Because there ain't nothing but the old ways. So what we want, we want for you to come in and take over the family, just for a little while. Huh? You like that? Come on. This way you'll be the guy, you'll be the Don. Sure. As long as it doesn't interfere with my day job. That's the spirit, kid. Don't let it go to your head, huh? Now get this straight. There's a boat waiting for you down at Pier 19. Mario's there. He'll take you 
out to the lighthouse. Okay? You ain't home yet. There's a boat waiting for you down at Pier 19. It'll take you to the lighthouse.
End of story. Except I'm not the one lining up for the last rites. It's my loving Uncle Paulie. He knows the end of the story as well as I do. But he don't like it as much. You know what I say to that? Fuck him. I seen that stupid little prick shovel a whole mountain of shit onto some good friggin' people. Dealing with dope heads and selling out to the cops. You take Polly Franchetti out, I'll be right behind you. You remember?
one proper feed. Oh God. 
Oh God, I can't feel my legs. I have a family. Please. Please, just let me live. Please, I'll do anything. Please take him. I told you I don't know anything. Kid, that stuff with the dark is a neat trick, but you don't have what it takes to capitalize. It's the last one. Finish him. Okay, I'm some dead chick when you. Listen, Jackie, I've been thinking. I, I know this worked out bad for both of us, but this store needs to be rash here. Why don't you fucking listen to me, you piece of shit? When he dies, I own you. Take his life so that I can take yours. I mean, you think hard. Don't make a hasty decision. I could do a lot for a guy like you. You fucking piece of shit! I hope you rot in hell forever! the end of the line. There's always a little light in the darkness. Didn't I tell you so, sweets? Jenny? We get one moment, Jackie. It's all they can allow. What? Who? Just one moment. Just to say goodbye. You were everything to me. And all I ever did was kill you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't forgive you, Jackie. How can I forgive you when it wasn't your fault? You have to go now. I don't want to go. I want to stay here with you. I know.
Am I dreaming? Yes. You have to wake up now. <laughs> <laughs>